I wanted to show you a second way of creating expressions on your Genesis character, and that is with something called face controls. It's a different way of controlling the facial muscles on your character in a way. And this works by using a faceplate. That's something like an anatomical element. You can think of it as an external rig that is being projected onto your Genesis figure. And rather than dialing in the expression directly on the figure, we dial in the expression on the rig. And that then gives us more opportunities to get the facial expression we want. Let's take a look at it. So this was actually a feature introduced in Genesis 8.1. I have a Genesis 8.1 figure here. If I go and right click and select her head, Control F will bring her head closer into my field of view here, which is awesome. With the Genesis figure, either her or the head selected, I'll just select the figure and show you where that faceplate is for Genesis 8.1. Head over to Smart Content and then head over to Anatomy. And when you're in here, search for starter. And when you do that, you get all the Genesis starter essential packs shown that have anatomical elements inside it. If you, in addition, select this option here, filter by context, then you're only going to see the ones that are applicable to your figure. So as I said, this is Genesis 8.1. I go inside here and then I see these two things here, which are the Genesis 8.1 female face controls and the 8.1 male face controls. Now, since we're dealing with a female figure, I suggest we use the female one and you just double click it and that applies this faceplate now that we can see here with lots of little additional icons in the viewport. You'll also notice that if I go and drill down into my Genesis figure, into the head section, I find a new thing, which is now the face controls rig. And this is that faceplate that has kind of auto parented itself to the head. And this thing's powerful because we can now go and literally select any of these little arrows here in the viewport and manipulate the face that way. So notice that this the whole thing is that separate prop here. This is it. So I can make it invisible as well. If you don't want to see it, you can just go click that little eyeball icon. Then the thing goes away in case you wanted to preview something without seeing arrows in the face. You can also move it to the side if that helps you out. But just as an example here, I'm going to go and hover with my universal manipulator over any of these arrows here. Let's say this one here select it and then you see that the scene tab seemingly has expanded like beyond belief so this is all the kind of stuff that's going in there we don't need to worry we just select one of these and then we go and select this little triangle here because that'll go and move this one point into both the up and the right axis at the same time so left click and drag and you see that we can now go and raise her eyebrow very interesting and you can do something with any of these little dots on the face so this thing in the middle here if you left click it then you go and uh, left click and drag that little white triangle here you can see that it moves her eyes and that's kind of nice so it's a different way of directly manipulating your figure and that's that's really cool Control Z undoes that. We spoke about this earlier that if your computer appears to be really sluggish with that, then remember this is a Genesis 8.1 character and she currently, he or she, uh, is set to a subdivision level of 2 in the viewport, which means there's a lot of geometry for your computer to move. Just to reiterate over that, we've talked about this extensively in a previous video, but if you select the figure and then head over to General, uh, on the Parameters tab, under General Mesh Resolution, you can see that here. It's set to a high resolution level. I strongly recommend that while you're playing with these things just to make it easier on yourself and the computer set this to base resolution or as I said before you can also use the excellent 3d universe scene tools for that so one icon turn everything into base res and now I can go and select one of those icons left click and drag and then my computer actually moves a bit easier and faster so that's nice play around with this and see what you can do there's also in addition to arrows here and all the arrows kind of point into the direction of which they can be dragged so look at that it's like a little personality coming out there it works on the cheeks here as well that your little cheek muscles can be moved here individually there's also instead of the arrows there's also these things here and they're kind of bulges that if you go and click it left click and drag outside you can see that this is now puckering the lips so this is a an attempt at visual representation of what's happening here kind of nice works with the mouth as well left click that first and then left click and drag and you can go and do this with the mouth that is kind of cool there's a lot of things that you can do here look at that and when you do this then also the mouth moves so you can do really realistic facial expressions with that it's, isn't that exciting i'll hit Control z to just 
turn that back into neutral here. If you hover over any of these things, it'll tell you what group this is going to control. Like this one at the bottom here is going to control the jaw. So if I click on that and then go and left click down, then I can open her jaw and or her, open her mouth and then basically look into her mouth. And I was going to show you another little feature, which is tongue control to a certain extent. So once I've opened her mouth now, there's these things at the top here. If you hover over them, they'll tell you that this is for the tongue. This here changes the shape of the tongue, <laughs> kind of nice. And you can see the, the two arrows working together there at the top. But then this here, that will go and stick the tongue out. So the tongue tip is going to be moved that way. See that? Very cool. It's all just visual. You don't have to look for sliders or anything. You can just go and touch something in the viewport and that makes that possible. I believe this here is to lift the tongue up and move it around. <laughs> if ever you needed to animate that, you could animate that as well. So sticking the tongue out is basically moving this manipulator forward now. And it's difficult to see which dial we need to press. So if you turn this around and look from the side, Control F will kind of frame that up closer. You can see that this is actually on this part, a three dimensional object here. So if you left click on the top arrow here, you see when you hover over that, it'll say tongue out and it actually moves the manipulator to a different position. And now if you go and either grab the blue arrow or this white little triangle that goes like front back here, then you can see that the tongue actually comes out, which is kind of interesting. So you can do this and then you can go and click on the previous arrow this and then you can go and play around with the tip curling and all that so all kinds of exciting stuff that you can do with that it's just a different way of manipulating your face rig i'm going to go Control z to undo that now this faceplate only works with genesis 8.1 characters but there is a separate product available on the dash store that is actually called face controls and that comes with a faceplate like this for genesis 8 and genesis 3 characters and i highly recommend that product it's a dash original product here it is this is what it looks like and this is essentially what evolved into the genesis 8.1 included faceplate that you get for free with the genesis 8 starter essentials what makes this product great is is that not only does it come with the 8 and 3 compatibility, it comes with all these expressions that come with the product. And they're so exciting and so cool that I thought I'm going to go and touch on this and show you how to use this. So the speciality is that if you wanted to use these expressions with Genesis 8.1, you have to use this faceplate because only this faceplate works with the expressions that come with it. And the faceplate here is compatible with 8.1 as well. So just to show you how that works, I'm going to go and remove my 8.1 face controls that we've added here. So I'll just go and select them and delete them with the character in the neutral position. Then I'm going to go and select my character. And at this point, it doesn't matter if it's 3, 8 or 8.1. And I'll head back into the smart content and look for something called face controls. And it's also under anatomy here. This is the product three and eight face controls. If I double click that, then I get in the anatomy, I get four face plates for that and like we discussed earlier sometimes it's difficult to distinguish well which one's for the male which one's for the female so i've got two genesis threes and two genesis eights and in order to figure out which one's for the male and for the female in the smart content tab i can just go and select one and then open my info tab at the bottom and that tells me well three is probably not for us if i select this one here then i can see that at the bottom it says that this is for the genesis male that would also mean that the next one here is probably going to be for the genesis female right yes exactly that's the one great so let's double click that and that just like the previous faceplate is going to attach itself to my figure in this case it's not the head it's just the regular figure here it makes it slightly easier to select here it is but the functionality is exactly the same so you select one of these points and then left click and drag and that will change the facial shape quite exciting this I'm going to go ahead control Z to undo that. But with that faceplate now selected here, face controls here, this one, if I select that, then I can head over into the poses section on the product here, double click to open that. And under expressions, I will see a whole long list of expressions here. Now these are all in the smart content. They're all mixed together for Genesis three male, three female, eight male and eight female. And just to whittle this list down, I'll go and have to search for G8F down here, just because we're using Genesis 8 female. And that will assure that I'll only see the Genesis 8 female expressions here. 
And now these aren't going to work if you select the figure. You have to select the face controls for these to kick in. So if I go and double click the first one here, I can go and see she's pulls a grumpy face. I'll go and control Z that. But if I were to select the actual figure and then dial that in, then I'll see nothing happens. And that's kind of expected because these expressions are made for the face control. So just keep that in mind that if you wanted to use these, select the face controls and then pick an expression. And some of these, I'll just go through a few here, they are very exaggerated, but they're also extremely realistic in certain parts. And that is because these things are made with something called FACS or FAX, which is a system for tracking all the facial muscles that humans use. And they are most likely, I mean, I don't have details, but they're most likely created with an actual face rig or at least a video feed of a real human pulling this expression. And that is then how this can be so accurately translated onto the Genesis character. Since these are one-click expressions, it is difficult to make them less by default. So there's no slider I can just dial into, you know, make it 50% of that. If I wanted to do that, then I can use the, and they're just, they're just excellent. I find them absolutely fantastic. They, what you can do though, is that you can use the puppeteer system that I've introduced in the previous episode. And it works just the same way. It just works as a layer on the face controls. So if I go and switch over to that, in edit mode, I can go and select myself a neutral point like we discussed last time. And then I go and dial in any of these expressions here, maybe this one, I'll dial in a few, maybe this one here. And I find them maybe a little bit exaggerated. I'll just you know, pick a few just randomly, kind of nice. Maybe this one here, that's also slightly, <laughs> slightly grumpy, slightly over the top. And maybe one more, maybe one slightly at the at the bottom here, maybe this one here. Fantastic, good. So remember this one here was my neutral point. I can also just, select it and then just left click and drag it somewhere else if I wanted to do that. And then if I go hit preview, then I can go and see that these expressions are all, you can dial them in bit by bit. So when this was the neutral expression and this one was the expression for 100%, I can just go and left click and drag this to a little bit less. And then, you know, that's that. And just like before, I can mix and match these things. And if you're careful about this, then you can go and literally make your character talk, including tongue movement. Is that exciting or what? This is just so cool. And this really does get you the best of both facial expressions, both the one clicks as well as the sliders, as well as the face controls. And I thought this is a very important part of how I dial in expressions. And I thought I wanted to share that with you. As I said, if you don't want to see the face controls here, you can just go into the scene tab and make them invisible. They're still going to work, including in Puppeteer. It's just, it's just a bliss to see figures literally come to life like this. If you wanted to save any of these things, anything that you've half dialed in, anything, you know, let's, let's just say this is my this is my perfect expression. You can also go over the 100% mark to make this literally a, a very exaggerated kaput expressions. Viewer discretion is advised. That happens when you go outside the circle. You can also, if you do the, if you scroll your mouse wheel, then you can zoom out and literally exaggerate that effect. If you want to make really freaky expressions, you can totally do that. But, you know, anything that floats your boat, really say we had found our perfect expression and it'll be like maybe this one here and you wanted to save it you would do it exactly like we discussed it's a post preset that is being saved but not on the character it's going to be on the face controls so just like before we head over to the content library and maybe i'll go stick with poses here and i'll just go hit the plus button on the bottom and save myself a post preset like this one here and i'll go and say i'll call it test expression for example and up comes that little dialogue again. And here we can just literally leave everything in place. So this is the Genesis 8 face controls. That's the only thing that comes up. And then you hit accept. If you had accidentally selected the top node of the character, then that's also going to work. So the dialogue still going to come up. But I would recommend that you disable everything and only enable the face controls in that dialogue. It'll have the same effect. Hit accept. And then after a few seconds, we'll see a little thumbnail of our dream expression and that can now be loaded in on our faceplate at a later point. So if I go and override that like this, double click that and then th my expression comes back just like that. So that is how you work with face controls. And I thought it's such an important part that I thought I wanted to introduce you to yet another way of posing your characters. In the next part, we're going to deep dive into clothing and where to find all these little adjustment dials that you might have to dial in from time to time. Stay tuned for that. We'll